Here we go. Some news headlines. Let's go. <laughs> oh, you got to love the quote of ours. So the police chief in Minnesota, you know, all the peaceful protests, riots, rioters, no, peaceful, no, rioters, no, protest in Minnesota, peaceful protest in Minnesota, uh, burn murder is going on because a black man who was wanted for a warrant and ran from the police uh, end up was shot and killed. And so now this comes out which, of course, the media is going to try and undermine this. So why was the guy shot when he just ran because he had warrants? It was a mistake, people. She made a mistake. She thought she was grabbing the sandwich knife to make a sandwich and accidentally killed the guy. Here we go. Police officer who fatally shot a black man during a traffic stop in Minneapolis suburb apparently intended to fire a taser, not a handgun. The police chief said, Brooklyn Center Police Chief described the shooting as an accidental discharge. Taser, taser, taser. The officer was heard shouting on her. We didn't even know that a woman shot the guy in the back as he's running away because she panicked because she don't know the difference between a taser and a gun because she hired ta taser, taser, taser and shot a gun. Good thing she wasn't tasing an officer in training. She could have shot and killed him. But anyway... On her body camera, she yells, taser, 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 and then shoots the guy. After firing a single shot from her handgun, the car speeds away, and the officer's heard saying, holy expletive. Uh, I'm thinking she said, holy fuck, or holy shit, I shot him. And, um, of course, her training and experience, and uh, I am woman, and I am strong, and we need more women, and women are better than men, and, you know, all that crap's isn't being heard now, but Dwight Thomas 20 died because a woman they hired in order to be politically correct killed a black man. It, isn't the irony so deep you can cut it with a knife here? We have to hire minorities and women and have to be PC. We have to throw away standards. We have to be more politically correct on what color and what sex we're hiring and now the people we're hiring are killing black people, which we need to be more sensitive of. But we had to hire this woman because she's a woman. And now she shot some guy because she don't know the difference between a taser and a handgun. Or you you can't make this shit up, people. So now there's riots in the streets. Now uh, George Floyd trial is impacted because of all the burning. So the jury is not going to be scared to, to give any type of verdict because they're afraid there's going to be more burning. As far as the jury knows... If they're avoiding the media, they may think the burning is because of the trial. They don't even know. So uh, anyway, um, he died Sunday. Uh, four officers uh, already on the edge of a trial for the four officers. Uh, 24 hours after shooting, the footage shows three officers stopped the car. I haven't seen the footage. Uh, I think we can catch the video Shh, whether she will be... I think we can watch the video and ascertain whether she will be returning. What was it? He would not say whether or not she would be fired following the investigation. Oh, he has to watch the video to see if he's going to fire her. Just shooting a black man running away is not a fireable offense if you're a woman. Now, since we don't know who this woman is, is she a white woman? Then for sure she's probably going to be fired. If she's a black woman, maybe that's why we haven't heard her name or seen a picture of her. Uh, let's see. We're going to do everything we can to ensure justice. Oh, yeah, justice. Justice all the way. Justice, my brother. Right now, everybody needs it. Uh, all the violence that keeps going, it's going to be about violence. Brooklyn, city of about 30,000 people on the northwest border of Minneapolis. We need to make sure it's about him and not about smashing police cars. Uh, I think I already saw pictures of them on police cars. Am I wrong? Crowds gathering in protest of the death of Dante Wright, an officer shooting the 20-year-old well, during a traffic a stop Sunday. Child Police say happened. they were attempting to arrest the man after determining he had outstanding warrants and he got back into his car. One officer had fired a weapon, uh, striking the driver. Uh, the vehicle continued and eventually crashed. Uh, and... 
uh, medical resources were then deployed to uh, the scene uh, to aid the people in both the vehicle. Notice how they said an officer fired. They don't say a female officer. See, when females screw up, it's always an officer. Uh, and again, we're not being showed a picture of her to see if she's black, white, Hispanic, whatever. So if it doesn't fit the narrative of the white, black, they're going to withhold it because that's how our lying media is. The driver of the vehicle was uh, was deceased. Authorities say Wright died at the scene of the crash. His mother arriving there after the incident, saying he called her when he was pulled over shortly before. Man, what is it about all these people? They can go out, commit crimes, get arrested, go to prison. And then when they get in trouble, they always call their mom. I, I don't get that. 2 p.m. I thought he was getting pulled over by the police. And I said, well, why or did you get pulled over? He said he had, they pulled him over because he had air fresheners hanging from the rear mirror. According to Brooklyn Center Police, both body cameras and dash cameras. You mean he didn't tell his mama that he had warrants? Shocking. Cameras were activated during the shooting. Evidence investigators will now use to help determine what happened. It's an open investigation and it's too early for us to be able to make any real comment on it. Tension growing in the city overnight. Officers deploying tear gas on protesters outside the Brooklyn Center Police Department. In anticipation of more unrest today, the state deploying more law enforcement officials in the greater Minneapolis area. What you will see is a greater law enforcement presence, a greater National Guard presence. Huh. All righty. So once again, a criminal with warrants, runs from the cops, and suddenly he's a hero with a baby. Boy, haven't seen that before. All right, we'll end that there. Riots, or I'm sorry, peaceful protests, Minnesota.